Today we've got four boxes that came on one pallet, but there was a total of eight boxes altogether, but we're gonna make this into a two-part series because of the amount of product there's going to be. So part one is going to be four boxes. Part two on probably Thursday night will be the remaining four boxes. But what we got is what I refer to as a hodgepodge pallet. It could be anything. It could be dog food, it could be electronics, kitchen, houseware, tools, home goods, kitchenware, toys, health and beauty. It can be anything. So these eight boxes, the total manufacturer suggests retail price on amazon.com, $3,111. So that's a pretty good price point for this pallet. A $3,000 pallet, you know it's gotta have some good stuff in it. What I paid though, my total cost, everything included, taxes, fees, I don't pay shipping costs because I pick up in person, locally, $347, that's all I paid. That's it. So, just a tad above 10% of where I like to be, but it's very, very close. So, at this price point, it's gonna be pretty much impossible to lose money. So, hopefully, maybe I can get triple my money back see what happens you know it's hodgepodge some hodgepodges are absolute just home runs and some can be interesting you've seen them on this channel so first four boxes here we go So everything will be sold on the normal platforms, your eBay, your Amazon, Macari, Poshmark, so on and so forth, in-person sales. So just because item will sell for 10 bucks on Amazon doesn't mean I can't sell for 20 bucks locally. Prices fluctuate amongst all of the selling platforms. So first thing we have a, looks like a children's sleeping bag. Okay, not the best way to start this video. Let's maybe get some a little bit better this time. Well, I guess if you're a Bills fan, here we have a Buffalo Bills collapsible pint pocket size cup. I gotta see this. I really gotta see this. A collapsible cup. Huh. It really is. Interesting. So I guess, like this doesn't fit super tight. Like it doesn't make a, like a good seal on it. So let's say if I got this thing full of your favorite beverage and I set it down and it kind of gives a little bit and then it, you know, falls down. That isn't all of my beverage going to spill out the sides. Cause this isn't like a super tight fit on this thing. I'd be kind of scared to use that. But they make them, so if they make them, people buy them. Would I buy one personally? Buffalo Bills, pint size glass. That might be like 10 bucks or something. That could be more than what I think it's even, you know, costs. <clears throat> Next, with the grilling season right around the corner, we have a Weber grill cover for the Spirit 200 Series and Spirit 300 Series. I have sold this cover before. Most of the times when these are returned to Amazon is because the person bought it and it did not fit their grill. Because all these Weber covers are designed to fit certain kind of grill shapes. And I know some people buy grills and they can't find a cover for it. So they, they you know, try to find one that might fit it. And usually it's not going to fit it right. So then they, they return it. But almost every single time I've got a return of a grill cover, it's always brand new. It's just taken out once and put it right back in. But yeah. I'm trying to think. Grilling prices, I'm kind of bad on right now because we're not like we're still kind of like 
very, very late winter, but that might be like, what, 30 bucks or so. Last item, box one already. We have a mystery box. The label on it says it's a 720p LED LCD video. That's all it says. We got a mystery box in a mystery box. I am very curious of what is in this. This isn't a shaped box that I usually get. This wasn't factory sealed, it was retaped by somebody else. If it was still like a factory seal, I would not be doing this right now. Oh! Show the inside of it. Oh, okay, it is an HD projector. Here's the remote, the cables, instructions, warranty manual. <clears throat> power cord it looks to be in like pretty much like new condition just open package item possibly i'll have to look this thing up and find out a better price on this but i'll take it that's probably a good 50 bucks right there i bet so that's it for box number one be right back with box number two number two here we go hopefully something really good in this one i think that projector though was pretty good item out of the these eight boxes what is that that looks good but well, this thing has lots of big box items in this one first thing snowman 12 pieces yeah look it is a 12 piece snowman set however you say that Malang Melamine Snowman 12 piece. I'm just gonna keep this thing sealed for now. Check it out later. See if they're like, you know, broken. So make sure they're all in there. Cause this thing is like, well, actually, this bottom's barely even taped shut. Actually, it's barely even holding on. So, never mind. Let's glance in really quick. Well, come on. Maybe. I think it's actually, that's probably the bottom side I'm opening up first, I bet. Oh, okay, I see. It is a 12 piece, like Christmas dish set. It's like four bowls, four like pie plates, and then four Dinner plates, total of 12 pieces. Okay. I don't know how much this stuff even sells for. No clue. But I'm sure it has some kind of value to it. It's We're a long way from Christmas though, so this might be a very, very tough sell for several months. Next item. What do we got, what do we got? Hmm, can't tell from the packaging what this thing might be. Amazon Basics 90 by 12 inch, 100% cotton. Oh, it looks like it's just like a sheet cover. Okay, that's boring. It looks like it's used too. Does not look new. There's some hair stuck to it also. Let me pull this thing out of here. Oh, come on. I can't get it. Jensen three speed stereo turntable with built in speakers and pitch control. This one looks kind of cool. I've never sold this model of record player before. Hmm. Might have to try this thing out. I mean, obviously, before I sold this, I would try it out, make sure it worked okay. You know, make sure everything on it was good to go. But I'm kind of intrigued on this model. It's 
has that styrofoam stuff in it. But yeah, that's that's nice right there. That's probably a good $50 bill, maybe. Awesome. What else we got? I picked it up. This thing's leaking. Upholstery stain remover stuff. Leave it in the trash for now. Next we have... What are you? Don't know. I still don't know. It says it's an heiress. I have no clue this thing is. Smart battery pack. So it runs on a battery pack, whatever this thing is. An Aris something. Don't know what that is. I have no clue. What else we got in here? Ooh, we got some uh, sunglasses or something. Brand is AG and Agend. Agent. This might be like this might be for swimming actually. How does the thing open up? Yeah, these are swimming goggles here. They're nice. They still have the film on the actual goggles part, so they haven't been used yet. I have never seen this brand before. Most brands I get, it's usually that brand. Uh, what is that brand I always get? I get it all the time. Of course, I'm going to draw a blank right now. I'm trying to think of it. But that other brand you see me on this channel get probably 15 times. They'll sell for about like 12 to $15. This brand, I don't know. I have to do some research on this. Find out about it. <clears throat> Next. If your name is Carol Ann Pinson from Cleveland, Ohio. I got your return. Let's see what's in this. What did you return, Carol Ann Pinson? Oh. It's a cane. A used cane. Okay. That would be a hard sell, a used cane. Something like this though, I'll have most luck selling this thing in person to somebody that wants to buy it locally. Of course, now we'll go get it back to the box. Sometimes you shouldn't take stuff out of the box. Ah, just leave it like that, there. Last thing, box number two. Suits your mini displays and storage needs. That's still factory, factory sealed. It's just the package is kind of beat up on it. Looks like it's just it's just a white shelf. That's it, a white shelf. So that's it for box number two. Let me box this up and bat it back with box three. Box number three. What goodies will be inside of this one? Huh, looks like this is actually full of kitchenware and some electronics is in here. Uh, let's do this first. Cheese slicer. We have a cheese slicer. I've never seen this one before. But yeah, cheese slicer. How much would a cheese slicer sell for? That's kind of out of my realm. I don't, I don't, I don't get too many cheese slicers. And liquidations. That's not a common thing to get. Let's grab this. Then we'll go to electronics. We got a Craig DVD player, DVD JPEG, CDR, CRW, CD player compatible. Make sure that the remote's in there. I'll try to see how make sure it works, obviously. Oh, there's the remote right on top. There's the player. 
I'm gonna have to try it out. See if it works. If it works, a, it's probably going to be used. A used DVD player, maybe like 15 bucks or so. Use this what I sell them for in that range. Oh, we got a baby lock handle. Keeps the babies from getting into doorways you don't want them to get into. I sell those things about five bucks. Single serve coffee maker. Includes a travel mug in this one. So I think this is actually like the $15 mug. I think it is, it's like 15 bucks because of the extra travel mug that is in this thing. So coffee makers for me still sell extremely well. It's one of my best sellers. It's coffee makers. I sell a bunch of them. They don't last long. Of course, I price them to actually sell though. I mean, like new price that's probably like 20 bucks or so, maybe even higher, but like I price my stuff to sell. I don't want to sit on it, I want to sell it. Next we got an adhesive magnetic lock system for another baby security thing. It locks stuff together. These usually come in a pack of, what is it, like eight or 10? This is a pack of six. That's probably a lot less expensive than, than the bigger one. That's probably about 15 bucks though, so I bet. Is this a back brace? Kind of what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like a back brace, so used brace you know five ten bucks or so creates a custom spice drawer you love to open oh it's like little slots you put it into your drawers what is in this thing oh it's an, i've never seen this before but it's probably not too expensive like ten bucks if i'm lucky oh we got a cast iron lodge pan doesn't look used either i'm gonna keep it in this uh poly bag for the time being but it has no usage marks on it this actually might be a new lodge cast iron pan about uh, what a 10 inch pan i say <clears throat> so in that condition i'll probably charge 15 20 bucks for that thing colonial candles 12 inch classic candles. What do these look like? I'm curious. Colonial candles. Okay. They are all navy blue candles like this. A whole box of them. They kind of smell like your grandma's attic. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like just that musty smell of like an attic, but like, you know what I'm saying? It, not a smell that I, I would want filling my house up. The, the, like the living part. Attic? Yeah, it's cool. But it kind of smells like maybe like mothballs or something. A strange smell on that thing. Look, okay, we got some towels here with some pink stains on them. So this will probably go into my donation stack. What are you? Do not drip the essential oil. Oh, it's an essential oil thing? Or something? It looks like it. Do not drip the essential oil outside of oil container. Oh, that's interesting. It's a Tailtronics Something with like essential oils or something. It says, yeah, this might have some value to it. Like an essential oils, tail, tailtronics, oils in the water tank. I guess it probably like mists up or something. I don't know, this might have value to it. Tailtronic. Let me look this thing up real quick. I'm kind of curious. I found it on Amazon. I had to look at pictures of the Tailtronic. I found it. It is called the Tailtronics Top Fill Ultrasonic Humidifier, Cool Mist Humidifier, and Oil Diffuser for bedroom, bath, body, large room, 
three missed levels, timer, waterless auto shut off, five liter, 1.3 gallons. On our um, Amazon, it's no longer being sold, so I'm not too sure what happened there, but it's not available for sale anymore on Amazon. Looking on eBay, it's selling for between like 50 and 80 bucks on eBay. So it's still not bad. More well, I thought it was gonna be worth originally, so it's between like 50 to 80 dollars in that range. That's good. That's not bad. Let's see. Is this a CD? Oh, back to electronics. We have a CD of the Struts. This is a hodgepodge for you. The Struts, young and dangerous. Let's see what's actually in there, and not broken. Look, the CD case is broken. Oh, what's wrong with this CD? I think it has mustard on it. You see it? I think it's, I think, I think it might be like dried mustard or something. That's strange. Okay. That's very different. So, yeah, the CD case is broken, but I think you've got a little bit of food on the bottom of, of, of the CD. So if you get a little hungry, I guess just lick the bottom of it, get a little mustard or something. That's different. Oh, one thing left in box number three. We got a purse percussion action handheld massager with heat. <clears throat> that looks kind of nifty. I know <clears throat> we like we own just a normal massager like this, you know, just bounces around on your body and it doesn't really doesn't really help much but this one has heat to it it adds an extra layer of like relaxing your muscles or your soreness whatever whatever hurts on your body might actually try this thing out before i sell it i mean i still would try it no matter what but i mean actually like, try it out try it out and if i like it i might have to keep this because of the heat factor so anyway, that's it for box number three. So box three wasn't too bad. A massager, a Tailtronics oil thing. We had a DVD player, a cheese slicer, a cast iron pan, and some baby stuff, coffee maker. So that this box three was an honest to goodness, true hodgepodge. It went everywhere in this box. So let me box up box three. I'll be right back with the final box number three four for this video i'll be right back number four so the final one for this video looks hodgepodgey to me so here we go let's go ahead let's start off with something we haven't had yet in the first three boxes we have a halloween costume Got to keep a hodgepodge. This is a Rogue Maiden Servienta Colorada. I think just like what a pirate kind of. There's the costume, adult large. I'll hold this thing back with the other costumes that I have. I got a couple dozen, three dozen, something like that for this coming Halloween. So I add it to my Halloween stack, but that'll probably charge like 10, $12 for it in that range. Next we have a Frigidaire, filter, and another, let me take a little gander at this. Filter and a filter. Newer used. Doesn't look used. Then we got an air filter. Oh, that one still is factory sealed on the inside. Where's my phone? Let me look up this price real quick because I'm kind of curious prices on this since I can actually can see the barcode because Amazon usually covers them up, but this one they did not cover up. So I can actually look this thing up pretty quickly. Did not find this product on, on Amazon.com. Could not find it. <clears throat> so this, see what this barcode says. Zero being sold. So it looks like for some reason this is pulled off of Amazon. 
Don't know why. It could be because the seller has just stopped selling them, but the frigid air filter, air filter, and then water filter. You know, those could be like 15, 20 bucks a piece or more, especially for the water filter. Could be. I had to do some research on it. I'll update. Man, this stinks. We have a brand new frying pan. The brand is Oziri. It's brand new. But the side here is a little bit dented in. Looks like something hit it pretty hard. Smashed around a little bit. But the pan's perfectly fine. It's not compromised in any way. It's a work totally fine. So since this pan has a little bit of deformity, I will sell this locally just because selling things like this on eBay, it's hard to describe, you know, saying the pan is brand new, but it it's a little dented in. And then once the person gets it from past experience from doing this thing for a long time, some people just, they don't think it'll be as bad as what it is. And, and then they get it and they're mad because it's more dented than what they thought it'd be. Trust me, I've ran into this problem in, in the past. So it's better to sell things like this locally, person to person, face to face. So the person can see it and say, oh yeah, that's, that's not too bad. Here's the money for it. You know, it just, it's, it works out better that way. Trust me. A little bit of uh, reseller advice. Okay, here is some very used nasty bed sheets. The back side here, there's like brown stains on it. Yeah, these are heavily used bed sheets with some weird stains on it. I'm gonna keep those things sealed. Those I probably won't sell. Those probably get trashed because it just looks kind of nasty. Mm -mm. What we got here? Oh, it's a dog jacket. Okay, I got you. I don't see. Really, there's a little bit of dog hair in it. Not, not a whole lot. But we got a Helios dog jacket. It's actually a decent brand of dog jacket. But used, something like this, the same thing. This is better to sell locally. <clears throat> don't sell it online because selling used dog stuff like this online person gets it no matter how well you try to describe it they'll still there's a good chance the customer can be mad about something because it's used so things like that i sell person to person face to face it's just easier less potential problems down the line contigo coffee cup looks to be possibly new no, it's been used. It's it's like spotless, but you can smell like a little bit like a faint coffee smell to it because once you use a coffee cup one time, you can't get that smell out. But whoever used it, it before they returned it, they washed it out really, really well. So that's good. Push to clean. Huh. So I will actually probably wash this thing out and I'm probably going to keep it. Because that's actually an awesome coffee cup. Has a little thing here. You push it down. And uh, it opens up the hole so you can drink out of it. You take your thumb off of it. And it closes the holes back up. I like this cup. Yeah, I'm probably going to guarantee I I'm going to keep that. Yeah. It's been decided. What are you? Um, we have a piece of black plastic. The brand is Polyway. I don't know. Some black plastic. What is this? Brand is Lewis and Clark. That's what's inside of it. Each one has these little bags with numbers on it. I'm not sure what this is for. I'll do some research on that, try to figure out what this thing is about. Obviously it's to hold something that goes into these bags, maybe 
I don't know. Maybe some kind of medicine or liquid or something. I'm not sure. Here we have a clock that is like a bike clock. There's the back of it. You can kind of see like the old time bicycle. Put that to the side a little bit. There's the clock. That's kind of cool actually. Gotta make sure it works though. But that's kind of cool. Like I'll probably sell that for like 20 bucks, I bet. That's actually that's one of my favorite things so far. Axle verted. I think this is some kind of like a whatever it is, it's it's crunched. Like pretty bad. This is kind of like what's this thing called a flu or something like that. But yeah, that's things crunched. It's pretty damaged. That's unsellable. Got a few things left in box number four. Here's some stuffing. Dehumidifier. What is this? What might you be, sir? That power cord. Brand is a Floia. It looks to be brand new. That is possibly brand new. The open package item, so obviously I won't sell for full price. But something like this, I'll probably try to get at least 20 bucks out of this thing. In that range. That's cool though. <coughs> Next. Something soft and squishy is in here. Careful open this thing up. Because the contents might be kind of cuttable, let's let's say. Oh, it's some of that magic tape. Oh, come on. There we go. What is it? It's not soft, it's actually plastic. It felt soft though. Oh, here's the Amazon return label. Actually on it, it says, this is a brand is Amy Tech Makeup Organizer 360 degree rotating adjustable cosmetic storage display case with eight layers, large capacity, fits jewelry, makeup, brushes, lipsticks, and more clear transparent. Looks like you gotta put this thing together. Oh yeah, you gotta put it, gotta put it together. But it's a, it's a, Makeup, jewelry, kind of a case thing when you put it together, it is actually cylindrical in shape. Yeah, I mean, it looks to be brand new. Everything's on, and, and this thing is like all packaged up still, all wrapped up, packaged up. So, if I put this thing together and more likely sell locally, I'll probably try to get like, try to get like 20 bucks out of it in that range. Last thing, box number four. This box is kind of beat up. Not the best condition of box. That's for sure. Oh man. Oh my. <laughs> well, it used to be a lampshade. But now... It is a highly crunched and severely damaged lampshade. It used to be round at one point, but now it's like a, it's like moon shaped. Wow, that's kind of destroyed. So that's it. That is all four boxes right there. That's what I got out of this. All in all, the first four out of eight boxes wasn't too bad. I think the biggest ticket item so far was that Tailtronics oil diffuser thing that we got in box. Was it number three? Two or three. I think that was probably the most expensive item out, out so far. Um, but this is a $3,000 total pallet, eight boxes on the wooden pallet. So there's going to be, I mean, there's going to be some more higher end stuff. It'll probably be in the last four boxes. But I'd say probably these first four boxes, there's probably no more than maybe about a thousand. In terms of brand new, if it was brand new kind of prices, I should say. 
probably in terms of value, I'm guessing it's probably not much more than about $1,000 for the first four boxes. I'm guesstimating just by what I saw, maybe $1,200. So I'm thinking those last four boxes, they might have close to like $2,000 worth of value in those last four boxes. I think those are going to have some bangers come out of those. They have to. Because there still has to be some bigger ticket items coming out. And But this, this did have some decent stuff in it. It was interesting, right? This was a true hodgepodge. We had cheese slicers, to record players, to coffee cups, to jewelry, organizer things, to lampshades, Halloween costumes. That's hodgepodge. That's a little bit of everything. So, be on the lookout. This Thursday I'll have part two coming out with the last four boxes on this $3,000 palette. So, stay tuned for that. The rest of this week, I'm going to have videos every single day. Certain days might have two uploads the same day. So stay on the lookout for that. Click the little bell next to the subscribe button. There's this little bell. Make sure you click that. Every time I upload a new video, it will notify you through email that uh, I got a new video up and published on YouTube. So you won't miss anything. So anyway... Thank you very much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Thank you for everybody who supports me, watches me, comments, emails. Thank you so much. And I'll see everybody very, very soon. Tomorrow. I'm out.